Hello everyone, magandang hapon po. Can you hear me? Thumbs up po kung malinaw yung sound, otherwise we'll adjust. Um, a very good afternoon po. Today is Tuesday and we're happy to celebrate a uh, World Breastfeeding Month po ngayon pong Agosto. So August is known as World Breastfeeding Month. And as a breastfeeding mom, yun po ang isang nagawa ko sa buhay ko, which I'm proud of. Let's uh, discuss this topic today. So first, mga bago, my name, Dr. Anna York Bondok. I am a pulmonologist po, especialista sa baga and intensive care. I am a graduate of the University of the Philippines. I was trained abroad. And uh, yung program po natin, pwede po kayong magtanong. So please put your questions below. Please follow us po on YouTube and uh, Facebook Live. And uh, sasagutin po namin lahat ng tanong nyo that we can, to our knowledge, about breastfeeding. So tara na po. I'm the mom of an 8-year-old who was breastfed. So I'm willing and happy to share my experience. So, ang title po natin today is Breastfeeding, Yes or No? Or, totoo ba o hindi? Kasi ang dami pong mga agam-aga, maraming concerns about breastfeeding. Some of them are correct, some of them are wrong. So, let's go! So, sagot po kayo ng true or false, okay? And I'll ask also our moderator. Okay. Yes po. Mayroon tubig at kanin ang kanan at kaliwang suso. Yan talaga. Ikaw, Kat, narinig mo na ba ito? Um, you, you don't have kids eh. So, <coughs> maybe you didn't hear this. But I heard this dati na ano po eh. Um, excuse me ah. Kumakati lang ang lalamunan. When I was breastfeeding, Angie, people always told me, ah, sa kanan po o sa kaliwa, um, hindi ko na nga maalala kung nasa kanan o kaliwa yung tubig at saka po yung kanin. Um, what I wanted to say, this is false. Hindi po siya totoo. Okay? Not true. Kasi po, ang uh, quality ng right and left, that's the same. Pareho lang po yung kanan o kaliwa na ano po eh, na pa-latch po o pa de po yung bata on your right side, on your left side, it's okay. Kung meron po, no, sometimes mas malakas po sa kanan, sometimes mas malakas po sa kaliwa, and the baby sometimes prefers right or left, and that's also okay. Hindi naman po kailangan na pilitin po yung bata na they have to go to the right and they have to go to the left. Ako personally, some people have um fed on only one breast po. And okay pa naman ho yun. That's also okay. Ako personally po, um, the left was stronger than the right sa akin. Even though I am right-handed, ha? And uh, Benji primarily po preferred the left side. And eventually po talaga, lumakas na lang po ng lumakas yung kaliwa at humina na lang po ng humina ng kanan. But that's okay. Wala pong ano na right is better, left is better. Hindi po. Kung saan po comfortable kayo, kung saan po comfortable yung bata. If you can do both sides, all the more the better. Okay, next po. Dr. B, bawal magpasuso kung may COVID. Mm. Dati po, I used to do this myths and facts or uh, totoo, hindi. But um, never pang I -I sinama namin yung COVID dun sa questions. Well, panahon na po ng pandemia and um, definitely um, this is a number of very good questions. So, kung sinanay po ang na-COVID positive Let's say, mga nganak pa lang kayo. No? Let, we have to do two scenarios. Eh. Pwede po yung mga nganak pa lang kayo and yung isa, pag uh, tuluyan na po kayo nagbe-breastfeed and then biglang na positive kayo. Okay, so let's do the uh, in general. Okay, in general po, people can breastfeed even if they are positive. Ang importante lang is to protect the child. Kasi po, um, we are not so worried about children getting COVID. Kasi po, um... As we discussed uh, earlier po yesterday, uh, super mild lang po ang COVID ng mga bata. But again, we want to protect them. So you can do two things po if you're pregnant and mga anak po kayo. Uh, the first is magpadede pa rin ho and to do skin to skin. Kahit po positive ko, do not worry. The most important po is that you put a mask on your face and a face shield. And then ano po, the baby has no mask ha. Hindi po minamask si baby. 
And then I'm um, just cuddle po the baby and through and pundumede and just protect po the child. One thing that they always say is that the mom should at least be masked and face shielded. Okay? Ako naman po, I wanted to add something na hindi po binabanggit. Um, ventilated po sana yung kwarto where you will be. Um, if you are in a hospital po, please try really to open the windows, open the electric fan para ho yung circulation ng hangin nyo po umikot. Okay? So, ventilation plus mask and ano po and face shield will protect the baby. So, yes, you should breastfeed even if you are um COVID positive. Lalo na ho kung may plano na naman talaga kayo mag-breastfeed. Kasi po, it can really protect the baby because maternal antibodies pass through the breast milk and protect po your child. So, talagang yung value po na breastfeeding kahit positive po kayo nandun pa rin. Okay? You will not pass on COVID through the breast milk. If ever po, it's still going to be sa hiningan nyo. So, you should be wearing a mask, a face shield, and the number three po, dapat po ventilated mabuti ang inyong kwarto. Okay. Second alternative, kung pwede nyo rin po itong piliin, is that you should express po breast milk. You can do that. And a trusted, ano po, like the baby, ano ho, patapusin muna yung quarantine nyo. You can choose to do this, ano, and then, uh, painumin po ng breast milk yung baby, not using a bottle, ha? Using a uh, uh, a small cup. Yes, babies can drink po from a small cup. Um, yung anak ko po was drinking from a small cup during his baptism one month. Um, yes. So, you can choose to express po yung breast milk nyo. Do not use a bote. Kasi after that, ayaw na pong dumikit sa inyo yung bata. He will not latch. So, you can use a small cup. Po, and the baby can be fed. Okay, so yun po yung um, two possibilities. If you become COVID positive when you're pregnant and you still want to breastfeed at nanganak po kayong COVID positive, dalawa po yung possibilities po na inyong pwedeng gawin. But if the baby po, you choose to breastfeed the baby, the baby will be quarantined with you. Kumbaga, nasa parang ano ho siya, close contact na rin. Kung hiwalay po si baby with the trusted uh, magpapakain, um, pwede naman po. That is also possible. But again, ano, the trusted na na magpapakain, dapat ho naka-isolate rin because that baby pinanganak po and became a close contact. So, yun po yun. But again, if you are positive, yes, you should feed the baby. Kung sakali, halimbawa po, one year na kayo, no, na nag-breastfeed, then na positive ka bigla, it might be, you might think, dapat ba ako mag-win ng anak ko since I'm not, I'm positive. Ang advice din po ng mga pediatrician, isama po yung bata na ano po, sa, sa isolation nyo and continue to breastfeed. Again, using a mask, using a face shield and ventilated po yung buong kwarto ninyo. Okay, I hope that clears up the issue. Letter C, dapat na patigil. Uh, sorry, Sige sorry. Um, okay. CDC, UNICEF uh, recommendations po yan. Okay, okay. go, sorry. Letter C, dapat na patigilin na nag mabato dapat na patigilin nag na pagpapasuso pag nabuntis muli ay you know this is very very common also yung pag pagpapadede o pagpapasuso po ng bata it um sometimes when the mom becomes pregnant um kusang tumutigil po yung elder uh, child or pinapatigil, sabi na hindi po kaya, baka maubos po lahat ng substansya ng nanay. That's actually not true. And um, people, lalo na po yung magkasunod na babies, kung minsan, uh, newborn yung isa, one-year-old yung isa, pareho silang dumidede kay mommy, as long as the mom is well-nourished and um, adequate ang pagkain, kaya po. So there's really, um, it's, it's a myth. Sinasabi po na you have to win the baby, kundi wala kang substansya, hindi po totoo yun. Um, you can feed both kids when they're born and as you're pregnant you can continue to breastfeed po what is important is yung diet nyo what are you eating? masustansya ho ba? are you eating a lot of malunggay? are you eating a lot of green and leafy vegetables? balance po ba yung diet nyo between carbohydrates, proteins, vegetables and fruits so as long as you're eating well po there is nothing to worry about Letter D, ang batang may ngipin ay hindi na dapat dumede sa ina. Ang dami ko na rin hong naririnig na ganyan, including some people in Congress who told me that. 
Um, it's not correct, Kuya. Na, that is false. Um, kahit ho, um, I breastfed my child until five and he, he had teeth. Um, kasi po, ano eh, when you breastfeed, the baby, parang the gums are covering the teeth actually. So it's actually the proper positioning po of the latch that will help you. And it, it's not painful po. Basta maganda po yung pagpipuesto po ng latch ng bata. Kahit na po, uh, may, may ngipin na po yung bata, it, it is safe. Hindi po siya masakit. Um, one time, Benji bit me. And uh, yung matagal ko na pong yaya advised me, Ma'am, ipitin nyo pag ginawa yun. So, inipit ko yung ulo niya and he never did it again. So, I guess he is a smart child because he never did it again. But definitely po, marami nagkakalat niyan. Mali po yan. And uh, kids with teeth can breastfeed safely. Um, andito na ba si Ms. Reyna? Welcome, Ms. Reyna, to our discussion. Hi, Doc. Good afternoon. Sorry, nahuli tayo. Speaking of well, breastfeeding... Well, maraming ginagawa talaga mga breastfeeding moms. Um, yes, I'll introduce you, yeah. Reyna po. Breastfeeding yes. moms. Oh, ito, Reyna, I'll ask your opinion yes, on this. Mm -hmm. um, dapat, and this I heard so many times, dapat na daw tumigil ng pagdedede ang mga kids o pagpapasuso ng mga kids pag may ngipin na, true or false? I just answered false. False din ako, Doc. False. False for me. I have a three-year-old son. He is um, casually breastfeeding on me. I tandem breastfeed with my other other baby, which is two years old po. May mga ngipin na, and never did I stop. Ako din eh. Um, actually, ang advice ko sa mga kumakagat na mga kids, ako inipit ko yung ulo ng anak ko eh. Once. And then, after that, ayaw na niya. <laughs> Yun. So, my yaya told me, mom, ipitin yung ulo. Then, inipit ko. Tumigil. Never beat again. Ikaw, Ray, nakinagat ka ba ever? Naku, humihina po si Ma'am Reyna. We'll ask her later. Opo. Yes, hello? Ayan. Ah. Were you Letter ever bitten D. by a baby? And what did you do? Me, doctora, yeah. May two babies. Naku, lalo na pagka may topak sila. O, ano Ayan. ginawa mo para hello? hindi na sila kumagat uli? Um, well, I told them, uh, I did what you, ano, what your yaya said, na ipitin yung ulo. Ako ata, nagturo sila, umipit na ulo. Ihag na mahipit. Then they will actually oh, oh. stop. Oo, oh, oh. yun, 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 yun yung nangyari sa akin. Oh, oh. Okay, next, please, please, true or false ito, ha? Sige, ha? Letter E, kung hindi naging matagumpay sa pagpapadede ng unang anak, hindi na rin kayang magpadede ng susunod ng mga anak. Ikaw, uh, Reyna. Nawala po siya, Dok. Ay, nawala. Okay. Ito lang ang sasabihin ko, no? And I've encountered this problem also numerous times. Uh, naging ano rin ako ng uh, Unilab, I became a breastfeeding speaker. In fact, I don't do corporate talks. I only did Unilab once in my life because I wanted to talk about breastfeeding. So, um, what I could say po dito, no? Um, just because you were not able to breastfeed your child, maraming, the first child, maraming reasons eh. Yung baka, baka naman dahil nagkasakit ka or you were not properly uh, supported. Uh, marami kang agam-agam, ganon. And then later on, uh, nag-breastfeeding classes ka na, you're so ready na sa lahat ng gamit, then definitely po, you can be successful dun sa second child. Ang maganda pong tingnan nyo po, no, is analyze nyo what stopped you the first time. Were you a new mom? Were you insecure? Were you, did you feel that you did not ano, have enough milk? Ano bang nangyari? Kasi iba't iba po yung kwento. And then once you determine po what happened, um, work on it po. Like, halimbawa, you were not supported. Uh, maghanap po kayo ng mga barkada nyo, best friends. Ako po, first cousin, was the one who supported me po sa breastfeeding. Because she, she breastfed two kids. 
and uh, malalaki na po yung mga anak niya at that point and parang nadaanan niya pa so she was really very gung-ho she was like, hindi, kaya mo yan and then dami pang kuinento so talagang confidence building number two, um, did you have problems with supply? Um, siguro po, uh, you can learn more about how to increase your supply uh, meron din po mga breastfeeding coaches I had a breastfeeding coach po you can also attend classes now on the internet that can teach you um, number three po, um, was it your job that stopped you? Baka naman ho, having a breast pump might help. So marami po talagang factors na um, maybe stopped you the first time, pero i-analyze nyo po and then make the moves po para makorek po siya for the second baby. Or, or for the last baby, merong iba, lima na ho anak and then suddenly said, ano ba? It's time for me to breastfeed. It's never too late. Kahit na huwalo yung anak nyo at ikanayin to, you can still breastfeed the ninth. Kahit na binatal feed nyo po yung first eight. Okay? So, every everyone's story is different. Every baby rin naman po, yung kwento nila, e eh, iba. Yung may iba, talagang super latcher. Pagka, ano, latch. Yung iba naman ho, kailangan maturuan. So, i iba po eh. And uh, let's analyze where we... Um, Parang saan po tayo makakapaggawa uh, po ng, ano eh, ng interventions or knowledges or educations para po you will be successful for the next baby. So don't feel bad na track record. Hindi, ho, ano, hindi po ganyan. Um, and again, ano, sometimes may nagugulat po. Ano, they were so successful the first time. The second baby was fussy. Ganon. It happens. And tiyagaan lang po talaga. Okay. So let's read uh, po yung mga uh, comments. Uh, Parang ang gaganda. Oo, go. From Miss Arlene Marie. Hi, Dr. Anna. Best reading pa rin po ako sa aking three-year-old son. I got my COVID vaccine two weeks ago. Is it true pa po ba na ang COVID vaccine antibodies can pass through or breast milk? I'm hoping po sana na mabigyan ng some level of protection ng baby ko by giving him my breast milk. I am truly amazed po sa ating liquid gold. Hope sana po mapansin ang question ko. Ang ganda naman ng question. It's not a question, it's a sharing eh. And a question. Anong first name? Sorry, I cannot read it eh. Malabo ang ating mata at may ilaw dito sa harap ko. Arlene Marie po. Arlene Marie, doktora. Uh, first name nung nagtatanong? Arlene. 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 Uh, Arlene. Miss Kat, naririnig okay, ko ba loud and clear? Uh, Mami Arlene, thank you so much for this sharing. Uh, first of all, yes, thank you for sharing this. Ano? Yes, breastfeeding moms can get vaccinated. Opo, pwede po. No? Uh, the, the, again, UNICEF and the CDC po sa US has already endorsed this, that breastfeeding mo mothers can be vaccinated po for their safety and for the safety rin of the kids. Kasi pag na-positive si Mami, mapapositive positive Possible. I won't say ma-positive, but it's possible na ma-positive po yung bata. So, number two, the question is, can can antibodies of the COVID pass through the breast milk? Tinanong ko po ito kahapon kay um, Dr. Uh, Lulu Bravo, one of the foremost uh, pediatricians po sa Pilipinas and vaccinologist. Ang sabi po niya sa akin, wala pa pong pag... There's no specific study regarding uh, the maternal antibodies of the COVID passing through the breast milk. But other maternal antibodies do pass through the breast milk po. And um, uh, they do protect your child. So we can assume na possible din hong dumaan ang COVID uh, antibodies. But um, uh, kung kahit na po, we don't really know. But what we do know are there other antibodies po can pass through and protect the baby. So during this time po of COVID, na, eh, bawal magkasakit. Gusto niyo ba dinadala niyo yung anak niyo sa ER uh, because wala po siyang maternal antibodies and nagkasakit tuloy ng pulmonya. Oh my gosh. With the mantra na bawal magkasakit, the best thing that you can do for your child ngayong pandemic na to is to breastfeed them because it will stop them from getting sick at pag hindi po sila na get sick, hindi po kayo mapupunta sa ER. Thank you again, Mommy Arlene, for that question. I like that question. Opo. And ako, ako mismo nagtanong nun kahapon eh. Okay, go. Okay, from Miss Lisa Roy Maniaco. Ako po breastfeeding ako sa two kiddos ko. 
ang panganay ko, two years po siyang na breastfeed sa akin. Then yung pong bunso ko, two years din po. Kaya healthy po sila. Ah, oh, wow. Thank you so much for sharing this again. Ano? Um, that, that's great. Uh, the, the kiddos got breastfed and they're doing well. Thank you so much for sharing this po. Doc, balikan natin yung question after siguro two weeks from now. Balikan natin yung question ni Miss Arlene Marie, no? Balikan natin mm-hmm. if nakatulong talaga ang breastfeeding. If you are vac- I mean, if you are vaccinated, nakatulong po ba ito to pass through? We will find that out, doctor. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Let's next question po. From Miss Danica Peña Felia Tinchoy. Is it embarrassing to breastfeed my baby to the public? Because I do breastfeed in the public. Ah, Ma'am Danica, uh, ako po nag-breastfeed sa mga restaurant, sa loob ng airport ng Hong Kong, saan pa ba? Just all over the Philippines. I just ka. Um, and, ma- and si Benji po, ayaw magpatakip. Ayaw niya mag-blanket eh. He did not want a blanket. So, medyo jacket ko na lang po siya ng konti. Or, well, there's also naman po a breastfeeding room sa Naiya. Um, and then, uh, ano pa ba? Uh, sa mga restaurant po, pumupunta lang po ako sa... Actually, people are very understanding naman eh. Pumupunta po naman ako sa... Parang sa tabi, para hindi po ako makaabala sa mga tao. Um, the first breastfeeding in the mall was put up by SM po. And uh, in tandem po with um, Dr. Elvira Henares Esguera. Ngayon po, um, it's very common na rin po to find breastfeeding places sa mall uh, and other public places. In fact, uh, I would like to share this with you. Um, si, Ble- si Benji po na breastfed sa Naiya um, domestic terminal and... Uh, Iba't ibang terminal po. Though I haven't seen Terminal 1, ano? Pero Terminal 2, yung ano, yung Centennial at saka po yung ano, um, the newest. Yes, breast, medyo breastfed there. Ito, share ko lang sa'yo. I was in ano, JFK, which is in New York City. Ngayon, hindi ko po kasama yung anak ko. Pero may dala akong breast pump. So, I was asking po uh, sa airport, um, do you have a breastfeeding room here para makapag-breast pump po ako? Uh, sabi nila wala. Can you imagine that? In New York City, ah, USA. Um, so, guess where yours truly had to breast pump? In the CR. So, you know, the Philippines is actually pretty good on this. And I'm really proud of the Philippines po. At sa atin po mga breastfeeding advocates, at sa atin po mga business persons also, government, for working towards this. So, no, hindi po nakakahiya. Um, though, um, nakikibagay na lang po ako sa ibang tao. And I have to say, my husband was very, ano po, uh, supportive. Yun po yun eh. You do need a supportive spouse. Mahirap po talaga pag nagagalit po si tatay. Um, it, it won't work well kung ganoon po. From Mr. June M. Tudinho, good afternoon po, Doc. Sir June, how are you? And magandang hapon po. From Miss Leonora Matic Silva. Good afternoon po, Doctor. Keep safe po. Hi, Ma'am Leonora. How are you? And keep safe. I think that's all, Doctor, that we have for okay. today. Okay. So very short lang po today. Yung ano po? Yung uh, breastfeeding. Uh, Bakal alam na po nila lahat. But it's good po to review. Ano? Um, there are lots of myths and facts. Most of them are actually myths. And uh, most of them actually will stop you from breastfeeding. Malungkot nga po talaga na ganun, ano? But um, if you're going to be vaccinated for breastfeeding, mom, you can check up with your pediatrician. If you're, bre- if you're COVID positive po and you want to breastfeed, again, work with your OB po and your pediatrician. It can be done. So in- sa inyo po lahat, um, congratulations po for to the breastfeeding moms. Kung meron po kayong kamagana, um, sister, um, sister-in-law, uh, Asawa niyo po, it's breastfeeding your kid. Um, congratulations and supportahan niyo po. So August is World Breastfeeding Month. Um, following facts, breastfeeding is the best thing that you can do for your baby. Ngayong pandemic, lalabas ka pa ba at maghahanap ng, ano, ng uh, formula milk? OMG. 
At saka number three, sa kawalan ng unang mga kinikita ng tao, just ko, yung ayuda nyo, pambibili nyo ng formula milk, nakuwag na. Okay? So sa inyo pong lahat, during this pandemic, eto, this is a fact. Breastfeeding is the best thing that you can do for your baby. Maraming salamat po and happy World Breastfeeding Month.